How do you prove a function's one to one? If you assume that the outputs are equal, you must show that the inputs must be equal. Assume f of say x1 equals f of x2, show that x1 equals x2. That's what you've got to do. Graphically, what this means is that it passes something called the horizontal line test. If you graph this function, it turns out to uh, look about like this, I believe. And there are no horizontal lines that go through this graph more than once. All horizontal lines go through the graph either once or no times as this horizontal asymptote goes through at no times. That means you give me any output, there's a unique input. X squared, whose graph looks like this, is not one-to-one. -one. Fails the horizontal line test. There are horizontal lines that go through it more than once. For example, at four, there are two inputs, plus or minus two, whose square is positive four. So this is what you've got to do. How do you do it? It's just some algebra. Since f of x1 equals f of x2, the formula for f implies what? It implies if you plug in those two numbers, x1 and x2 here, you'll get the same thing. x1 plus 3 over x1 minus 2 equals x2 plus 3 over x2 minus 2. What do you want to show? You want to show that x1 equals x2. It doesn't look so easy, does it? Well, just keep going. See what happens. Got a, two fractions being equal. That implies if I cross multiply, I'll get equality. By cross multiplication, which is really just multiplication applied a couple times, x1 plus 3 equal, uh, times x2 minus 2 equals x2 plus 3 times x1 minus 2. Simplifying gives what? Foil on both sides, right? Foil. x1 times x2 is first times first. Outside times outside is minus 2x1. Inside times inside is plus 3x2. Carefully, you have two different variables here, so to speak. <clears throat> last times last is minus 6. Do it on the other side, too. x2 times x1 is x1 times x2. Then I have a minus 2x2 and a plus 3x1 and a minus 6. Okay, to save time, let's just cancel right away. The 6s cancel right away. The x1 times x2s cancel right away. So we get negative 2x1 plus 3x2 equals negative 2x2 plus 3x1. Continue simplifying. How? Uh, let's add five, uh, 2x1 uh, to both sides and subtract or, and also add 2x2. Those cancel. I got to do it to both sides. And what I end up with, with is 5x2 equals 5x1. So x1 equals x2. I'm done. Praise the Lord. Okay, so you got to know what you got to do. And then you just got to do it. It may not be clear how it's going to work out, but it does work out in this case.